Okay, I'd like to start another uh, tutorial today. This is just going to be a quick uh, brush effects type tutorial. Um, just getting kind of a painterly look for a logo or lettering or um, basically anything you want to look kind of dynamic and, I don't know, hand painted. So the first thing we'll do is we'll start by going to the spray tool. I'll uh, right click it to get the color I want. I don't want to use this whole one. In fact, I just want to use uh, I had to clear it that's why. Okay, I think I'll go with this nice ink inky looking red there. I'm not gonna do multicolor, it'll just be mono. And what I want to do is uh, excuse the brush I already have on here, I was experimenting earlier. I just want to spray down nice healthy pattern. Why are we doing white? Oh, because it's in mono mode and that uh, and that it goes to that. Let's uh, let's get some red down there. Okay, so this is going to simulate basically the bristles of a brush and dragging it through the path that I'm going to draw. So I'll hit B to capture a new brush and I'll steal this right off the canvas. Okay, I'll clear the canvas behind it to get rid of that. Um, we'll just do the first letter of my name. I guess that'll let me show off the spline tool as well. Um, we're going to look th look through the effects. I'm going to use transparency here. So we'll right click it. Uh, I want 50% uh, should be good. That's a good... You don't want totally opaque ink. Or you won't get the nice bristles on the uh, ends. We'll go with alpha blending should be good. There we go, that looks really nice. Okay, so basically, I'm just going to do a quick uh, tutorial about how you do splines. You can right click to get uh, simple, I think this is a Bezier curve. You right click again, you get a spline. Um, for the curve, basically, you draw a beginning and end point, and then it lets you stretch out the middle. We'll clear that out. Uh, we'll right click, and then uh, these splines, I don't know exactly what kind of splines these are, but um, basically same you define two points and then you have these little knots here and these knots you can drag out to uh, define a shape that way so again you can really see how this has a nice brushed uh, end piece on there and this is due to the transparency so we'll clear that and I'm just gonna do the first initial my name so we'll do an R um, just don't worry about the middle points just think about the beginning and the end and drag the knots where you want and then right click and for the R I have kind of a accented exaggerated R so I'll do that okay and you can always keep moving these to get them where you want them we'll right click to stroke that and then we'll start right here and remember always think about your end points don't worry about the middle points until you're so you're stretching things. And there's the R. And I'll zoom in so you can really see. This really leaves a nice effect on there for brushes. So I guess that's the tutorial for today. And I hope you guys enjoy it and keep doing art. Have a good day.